morning. Everybody good? Good afternoon. We have oh, a right, Michael. Weekend. We, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll call the uh, DPW committee meeting to order. And I guess I'm supposed to announce who's here for whatever reason. Under the open meeting, or if you have, or if it's not a Zoom, I don't need to do that. Only, okay. if, only if we're on Zoom. That's right. Not a Zoom, you don't need to do vote and go through a lot of formalities. Um, minutes of 514, I think we have them, right? Yes, you do. Yeah. Any corrections, comments? So, we have a motion to approve. Motion to approve the minutes. Second. Motion second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is unanimous. Um, all right. Everyone's had a chance to, uh, for lack of a better term, digest our interview that we had on flight 14 with uh, the four candidates, CMS, HDR, Collier, and T3. And... Anybody want to talk first? Anybody want me to talk? Go ahead. Give me to talk. Go <laughs> You're ahead. talking. Keep going. <laughs> Don't stop right. now. You give me a chance. Anybody else a chance? Um, if any, if that, I mean, we were all there. I was figuring if anybody, other members that weren't there would show up today, I would give them a quick review of what we talked, of what they talked about, and what we thought of them. But since we've all been there, um, I'll do a quick rundown. CMS, I thought we all thought was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, eight Collier we thought was good. P3 we thought was good. And HDR not so much. Right. So we decided, I think, even at that meeting, that HDR was not going to be considered. Um, and then uh, Tom was going to talk to Vern and get comments on the other three. And he did send out an email. And nobody had anything negative to say about any of the three, CMS, Collier, or P3. So, and his comment that I think it's a good one at the end, he says, basically, for what he could say, no matter who you choose, they're all going to do you a good job, do a good job for you, rather. Um, anybody have any, anybody talk to anybody else on anything? Yeah, I heard that P3... I don't remember the gentleman's name who spoke to us, uh, but he likes to talk, and then once the project starts, he kind of falls by the wayside. And from VD3, we had Dan, Rob, and Rebecca. I think Dan was the guy doing all the talks. It was Dan. Dan, okay. So he, he, he supposedly talks a good talk, and then once the project starts, he... Doesn't he's not there? Somebody else. I think maybe Rebecca is the one who fills in, and so he said he would be there. And if that's the case, that's one thing. But if he's not, then that's another, and we wouldn't know that till it was too late. Yeah, I mean, I did. He had done that one in uh, the Carolyn was the senior center where she was working down there, and she said the same, basically, kind of the same thing. Promised the big sales stuff, but really didn't help them that along that much pushing it forward. Um, my first impression of them was you know, used car salesman. That's exactly what I, I was you know, when he came in and started making yeah. jokes, you know. <laughs> I, I, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I agree with that. He made jokes and I thought he was kind of wild. Be nice about it. Yeah. But as time went on, it kind of convinced me that they had a good sales pitch. And it was almost pointed out that once the sales pitch is done, he almost stays in the background doing the paperwork, and the other guy and the girl are going to be the people here. Yeah, yeah. Is that yeah? That, that was kind of, and, and I also, I mean, first of all, I mean, just because the guy did the talk and he doesn't show up for the job, it's not a big deal. I mean, like a lot of the companies, you know, I'm the big boss, but you do the work. I, I, and and, and that's okay. I mean, I, I don't know. I just pictured him coming into a town meeting. With his like he came in here, and everybody in town like, oh, oh wow. Well, see, I think we had that. I agree with you. That's what with us torn about because I think we have had the have the best shot of getting it through with him, but then he wasn't going to be there, and he has the least amount of experience. But I to right that, that too. So that's where. But I also think you know I know like when Jim and those guys talk at a town meeting, 
these are people in town that you know get up and present something and they have you know we've had good luck you know so as opposed to somebody coming in out of town trying to push something down it turns off a lot of people real yeah and it, i i would agree with that that an outsider coming into a town meeting needs to kind of walk on thin ice um if he comes in too strong mm -hmm. turns right. people off i didn't know for this you're gonna ding back <laughs> yeah you know telling me what to do yeah yeah so i mean the, uh, the only thing one of the things that did impress me he was the only one that gave us a scorebook scorecard of how many things that he proposed in town meetings and got passed he did have a lot of good information on things as far as get you know we've all seen it people come to town meeting us the first they've heard of something yeah this is something i mean it's 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 expensive yes and he did say that this project can't pay for that so that money has got to come from another budget for your advertising like that right so you know you gotta when you present to town when you present a town meeting people should have a pretty good knowledge of what's going on and i think a lot of the big projects that have been presented in the last few years and have passed uh are exactly that they were well known prior to town meeting the, the uh, senior center the uh, well the fire station not so much that was a little bit smaller potato but the senior center and the library got a lot of publicity and who are you sir hi uh sorry gentlemen to interrupt i'm not uh, reporter with the reminder and, uh, um did you wear us report oh, reminder. Oh, the reminder oh report okay that's why yeah and uh, GPS is the up. So okay, okay. this is being recorded too. It'll be on YouTube anyway. So if you miss the first few minutes, you can hear it up. Okay, okay. It, it, it's not something it's a, re, it's a recorded thing. So you are being recorded. Just so you know, that's a camera and a recorder sitting at a middle table there. Yeah. So I agree that his sale. I was convinced that sales pitch was what we needed to get. They were going to willing to spend the time to educate the townspeople get the word out but i agree that if he doesn't do it in the right way he will turn people off so we don't know if who he was when we interviewed him is the same person he would be at town meeting but i guess we have to assume that he would be i would i would think that that's his personality yeah yeah he's yeah. trying to break the ice with us but he kind of broke it too quickly maybe yeah. the yeah. other yeah. thing yeah. too i mean he's only done one dpw project and like i said it doesn't matter how many of them you build this is an owner's project manager if we don't get past you know we gotta look when we get hopefully this is going to pass if it doesn't pass there's no project right yeah. so yeah we this is at the end we need to make sure that we've got somebody that's going to continue through the building so we don't have a problem like we did next door. Mm -hmm. yeah. He did give me the idea that their company is really willing to listen to our opinions um, more so than the other guys did. And maybe it's just, I missed it on the other companies. But um, you know, that, that was one of the pluses I, originally I had them eliminated before we even did I, you know, I, by I, reading the book. I, I, I think you, I think we're all in agreement. Yes. That. Yes. Yeah, yes. By looking at everything else, like, you know, this, this, yeah, I mean, this, 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 he doesn't, nothing impressed us. I, you know, I'm but, saying from our own experience, mine, working with Colliers on the two that we did, they listened to what we said. They gave us a good product in the end. You know, we, they were very easy to work with. It was a problem they came to us all, you know, um, and then some of the stuff that I know we brought up was, you know, you could be here full time or part time or whatever. I mean, Colliers wasn't here 100 percent full time, but if there was a problem, whether it was brought up by the general contractor or somebody on the committee or something else, they were right there. Yeah, yeah. I I would expect any company we choose is going to be there according to the demand of the construction. Correct. They'll be there sometimes, you may see them one day a week. When things are hot and heavy, you'll probably see them every day. Then as things lighten up, it's going to be according to, like I said, be according to demand. So I think they're all going to re re respond to what is needed, um, which is really all you need. You know, and 
the person say like Collier's when they were doing concrete, they had somebody from their company or they hired to take your samples of concrete, stuff yeah. like that. So it might not necessarily you know, but maybe somebody else that's here, not necessarily somebody overseeing the whole project. Yeah, you, you, need, some, you need the right person at the right time, right. bottom line, whoever it is. You know, and I think they would all do that for the most part. That that's what we've got to be, you know, and I don't think that's going to be a problem. Um, so we could, as far as CMS and Collier's, um, except for dealing with Phil on various things coming to the planning board for the for the projects, really had no exposure to him on the project because, you know, then it wasn't my job to get involved in those things, and I really didn't want to be involved in it. You're talking Collier's now, right? right? Yes. Yeah, Collier's. Yeah. So, yeah. so my thought after going through and thinking is, I mean, we had two great experiences, track record with Hadley with them. So if they're all, you know, if they were all the same, I have to vote for them. I guess my only concern was Phil said he wouldn't be as much, you know, it'd be somebody else because Phil was phenomenal. Yeah. He listened, he, he was prepared yeah. every time we had meetings. And Adam was vote. also, if Phil wasn't around, Adam was here a lot on right. of these projects. You know, they, you know, that's a good thing. They do have a couple of people that, you know, mm -hmm. kind of fill in for each other. I mean, now when we first started, at CMS, when they came on, you know, I was all, you know, Collier's and I, we've had good experiences like a car. If you've got a mechanic, you've taken it to, he's never done you wrong. You're not going to go try somebody else all of a sudden. CMS, I was really impressed by that. Yeah, I was too. You know, when they started and they got done, I was like, wow, okay, this is close here. Yeah, you know, yeah, that, that was when, so back up. Um, so do we think P3 is worth pursuing or not so much? Um, I think based on what I've heard, not so much. I agree. I agree. Not so much. I agree. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can go with that. Okay. That's what that, I, I don't have a strong feeling. Yeah, um, there again, I think all three of them could probably do the job. Yeah. It's the, it's that chance. Yeah. Right. 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 Um, so basically between CMS and Collier. I don't have strong feelings either way. I can, I, I'll be tickled with both of them, to be honest. That's my opinion. And I'm one. So I'll let you guys put your two cents in. So one thought I have about Collier's, we've got a good track record with them. Does that mean they're going to be lax because they know how we operate? Or are they going to be more diligent because they know how we operate? I think, I and think, you've worked with I them. Think you guys partially them. knowing of how we operate because they, at the beginning, especially on the North Adley Fire Station, there were some changes in the committee members, and they saw some of the worst stuff in Adley. You know what I mean? So, I think they're they're going to be good to work. And like I said, CMS by what they presented and what they did, and the amount of you know garages they've done, I think they could probably do a good job also. But like I said. We've got experience with them on two buildings here. That's the only reason why I'm leading that way. Right. Yeah. Okay. Rather than taking a chance on, and it, it, it probably is perfectly fine to do that. Yeah. I wouldn't feel bad if And they never were knocking wet. through. I mean, when they right. said something was going to get done, it got done, they made sure. Right. It was. And I'll just put a quarter comedy or something to do with it, the two of them, but I've been on a few building committees, most of you guys have too. This is the first building committee I have been on. I said this before, where you would people would more than almost unanimous. The committee members know a lot about building well, in shape, way, or form. That's probably a negative too, Jimmy. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, put it this way: compared to the last three buildings we just built, the two that Collier's was involved with had several people that were on the ball and knew what they wanted and knew how to follow. Okay, it's like the fire department in here. The right. other one, not so much. Yeah. But, you know. Well, the point of time, yeah, you wear some good people. Yeah. 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 So I'm not saying you didn't have good people. I don't know. Right. Companies. I'm just but, saying of the few that I've been on. That um, that helps a lot in forming the right questions and following up it, with. It, it, it helps a lot with, with, with just the, you don't have to. Well, when somebody, it comes time to a, when you show blueprints, the those that can't read a blueprint right. know nothing. Right. They're trying to explain it to them. They don't really care. Right. They want to know other things. And, and sometimes that's not a bad thing. Right. Um, but if you can read a blueprint, right. that means a lot. 
you know, yeah, I mean, I've seen that in my own house. You get the house built, and I didn't know it was going to be like that. Okay, it was laid out. I mean, now they've got the 3D thing that you can walk through, which would have been a lot better. But... Okay. Do, do anybody remember how many DPWs each one of these two had? I see uh, on CMS, I had three highlighting. They had more than they had. I want to say half a dozen anyway. Yeah. Collier probably had more than that. Uh, I think you know, I had CMS listed as four when they answered. Okay. HDR had the most. They had eight. Yeah. Okay. But you said it was a hard time getting hold of those guys. Well, the thing, was, the thing that turned me off about HDR was getting in touch with them. When they put the proposal together, they gave a phone number that was useless. Their website was useless. And it wasn't until I did some digging that I found out or, that HDR um, is the big company that bought, what is it, what is your other name? City Point. City, yeah, City Point. City Point. City Point. Oh, Fine Point. City Point. HDR bought City Point recently. And when I went to the City Point website, and it's even the City Point website gave the same HDR phone number, so that was useless to me. But the City Point website had a different website that I finally contacted the people and got in touch with them. And once I got in touch with the right people, okay, but I had given the HDR website the same information as, as City Point. And, you know, they're now absorbed by a group. They said there's now like 12,000 employees in this company. To me, we want a, a, a more smaller company because uh, my experience with big companies on something like this is that they were just purchased. How long are they going to be independent and not being told well, you need to do this differently. You need to do this better. We do it this way as a corporation. You need to follow that. Yeah. And we could be lost in the shuffle rack. So I don't get a good feeling with, you know, or somebody gets caught out and one of the younger people is like, I'm, not, I'm out of here. I'm not dealing with this. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know, or we don't need you. You're gone. Whereas also. at least with CMS and Collier's, I mean, you're speaking to the people. I mean, same thing. They could get bought out too. Don't get me yeah. around. Those things could happen. Um, but I have a much better feeling that those guys are going to stay the way they are, at least for the duration we're going to be with them. So, going to be with so us. that kind of brings me back to P3. I thought it was the smallest group of people that you could deal with one-on-one -on -one more. But I understand we, we eliminated those guys, but you know, that was kind of what at the end. Oh, yeah, I, think, yeah. I mean, I'm sure we could debate all day yeah. good points on yeah. each one of them. My guts tell me right now that we go with the company that we've had experience with before because we know how they operate. We know that they've treated us well. They've been there, as you guys said, when they were needed. And that's really important in this day and age. You want somebody that's going to be there. And the other companies may, but we because we have a track record, that's the only that's, real reason. That's my feeling. So I just, like I said, we've dealt with them. First hand, we're not dealing with their presentations or other people's take on it or something like that. You know, the other one did impress me with their stuff. You know, but right. Tom, did you deal with them um, callers? Yes. Yeah, and and when they spoke the other day, the only thing that negative I negative I could find was the half time. They thought this one was a half time project, but then they made the comment that if you want to pay for it, they'll be here when you need us. And, and they were always available and for these. Interviews. That seems to be true on all of these because some of these guys said they're going to have a, a guy on there 40 hours a week for right. construction. Right. But they're not going to give you 40 hours a week. We're going to be paying for it. Well, well that's the thing. Right. Right. We're, right. we're negotiating a price with these people after this based yeah. on what is what we want. Right. Yeah. 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 We've got a budget. They know what the budget is. They know what the total budget is. So let's, let's say we choose... P3. And we go to negotiate with them. Wow. They want both arms of the way. And 
you know, I don't, I don't know who does the negotiations. I'm not sure. I'm assuming it's Carol and some committee members, but I don't know right. Right now how this right. works. So, anyways, negotiate with them. They want both arms and a leg. We can't afford them. Okay, they're out. We go to number two. Well, that, that's right. And that's the other thing too. You know, you, yeah, if you want somebody sitting here 40 hours a week, and you know, there's a couple of rain days. There's not much going on. Yeah, okay. You, yeah, you, you really need somebody sitting here, here watching that. We're, we're going to pay for what we get, right? And we want to pay for what we need, right? Not what some something else. So the money that was um, passed to town meeting was for these guys and the architect, right? Yeah, yeah. for the schematic right. design yeah. and these yes. guys, yes. And they're going to help us pick an architect and come up with the. Pricing. Right. Yeah. So we're going to be going through a similar project, similar discussion like this when they, and we go off for architect. Right. Only they will be here to help us. Right. That. Yeah. So I'm good with either one of them and we can do one, two and go all the way down to uh, P3 as a third choice if we can't come to terms. I think that's a right. option. I, I think that's the right idea is that we choose yeah. number one, number two and number three. All right, so I'm going to make a motion to approve Collier's as number one. Second. Okay. I second. You second? Yeah. I'll do that too. That's fine. Okay. Any discussion on that? No. Um, all in favor of the motion to have Collier's as number one? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Five to zero? Aye. CMS, I'm assuming, would be number two? Uh, I will make a motion to make CMS number two. Okay, I'll second. Any discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion five to zero. And those absent. And we want you to have P3 as number three or not? I think we should, just in case. Yeah. So I'll make a motion to make P3 our third choice. Right. Okay. I'll second that. Motion to second. You're, you're, you're going to be on a patient with <laughs> uh, any discussion on that? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Matt, again, motion passes by zero. Um, all right. Let's see. I will present this to the select board next week, which is the 5th, I believe, of June. Anybody else is welcome to attend that? that I'll be there. You will. <laughs> cool. Act surprised. Next meeting, what, uh, when should we, I mean, the next meeting is June 19th, is that good enough? Third, two, third Wednesday of the month? Um, unless, unless they're going to want something started before then. Well, I may not be here that day. Uh, Juneteenth, or yeah. anybody having meetings or offices closed or the anything? select board's not having a meeting town hall will be closed because it's Juneteenth. June, yes so and i may be out of town from then for about a week i mean we can do it to that tuesday's your planning board though right jimmy yeah So what are we going to do in the next meeting? Next meeting, well, well, next thing you have to present to the select board. We'll present to the select board. I'm assuming the select board um, will agree with, go, go along with our recommendation. And then after that. That's on the 5th? That would be on the 5th, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then it would be a matter of getting that company to come back and start negotiating for for a price correct so will we so i really if we have the meeting i'm really not going to be ready for anything yeah, other night i think what we should probably do jimmy is once we the select board votes on this then we will find out what the next steps are and then w at what point we're needed again yeah. right so probably the next meeting would be to be determined how about right. that yeah um the first Tuesday of the first Tuesday, first Wednesday of July is the third. That's not day before the fourth. That's not a good time. Bro. No, because I'm gone then too. Always, always. I got, I got kids to take on vacation. <laughs> um, 
Possibly it would be something like either June 10th or June 17th. Anybody, people okay with those dates? I think I'll be back by then. 17th, <laughs> I'll be camping. The 10th, I'm fine. Okay. But again, we got to make sure that we're going to be, we yeah, have something to do. do. Right. Yeah. I mean, just I'm, just look, I'm just looking, I was looking for, uh, to set up a date, you know, I don't want to put up a date together and then, oh, I can't make it, I can't make it. I mean, summertime is a tough time for right. vacations. Yeah. All right, so tentatively 710? So tentatively 710. Okay. That would give us, a, a, that would give Carolyn and whoever negotiating a month plus to uh, right. come to agreement I mean, on it. We need to get together for some reason or to pick, like, I'm sure they want a couple of members or something like that. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. 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 No, I, I will find that. I'll find out from Carol and what is right. how negotiations are done, and uh, I'll let everybody else know. That's you know awesome. if anybody wants to be if it, if it right. can, if it can be there, so be so be it. Ten four, great. All right. Anything else? Yeah, I got a question. I think it's more for Randy, um, which ties into this project. So for the Blinken Lake to the um, highway department, yeah, there's no posted speed limit. And given that, okay, so hang on a minute, we can't talk about this, okay, because it's not on our agenda. We will be violating open meeting law if we yeah. do. Okay, so wait a minute. Let me ask a question. Does it have anything to do with the DPW? Well, we're here to we're to, we're here today to talk about the. The interviews, but, but, but after the meeting, you can talk, ask a question. It has nothing to do with DPW. It's it's not. It's tied in, but not really. Okay, okay. Let's just save it, you, David. After just so the we meeting, don't. if you adjourn and you and Randy can talk, that's fine. But yeah, Randy's right. It's not on the agenda, so you really can't mm -hmm. talk about that. It, it's it gets carried away with the open meeting violations. So, anything else? No, no. Motion to adjourn. So moved. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.